My wife and I were much loved by the parishioners. I have transformed the Sunday school programs and developed a burgeoning youth group. When I graduated from high school, there was a great turmoil in the land, social revolution, really. Old ways of thinking had become suspect, and some of us thought of ourselves as being very much in the vanguard of a new, more enlightened Christianity. Long held notions about marriage, relationships, and sexuality were starting to unravel. And many of us felt that the church would have to adapt accordingly in order to stay relevant. In my Sunday school classes and later in seminars I conducted for youth groups on problems of contemporary living, I carefully introduced some of these new ideas. Oh, I was no fool. I knew there would be resistance to new ideas from older parishioners and church officials, but I was discreet. The only excuse I could offer for what followed was that it was all part of the new climate of experimentation that was sweeping the land like an epidemic. It was wrong, yes, but <clears throat> it was all consensual and non-coercive. I, I can't stress that enough. There were only two or three girls in the youth group that were involved in. It was all just fun. Everyone was very discreet, so one might well ask what I was to make of the encounter I had at the mall the other day. A woman who was allegedly one of 